Welcome to my dining room. We're going to be talking about the Mesh-tastic mesh routing algorithm. How that algorithm works in 1.2 and how that algorithm will work in Mesh-tastic 1.3 and 2.0. So let's actually just dive into this. So Mesh-tastic has a flood routing algorithm. That means if this is you and you send a message out, the devices within range will randomly retransmit that packet. <clears throat> so this one will send it off. Let's say this receives it. That'll be one, two, three. All right. And you know, hopefully all the other devices that don't uh, retransmit the packet will be in range and they'll receive it. So let's try this again. Again, this is called completely random. This is, uh, this is you. They'll send it off. One, two, three. All right. And you know, most things within range will receive it. Let's send another packet. This is you. One, two, three. And so it's just a hop three times and hopefully the uh, device all the way back there will receive it. Okay. So the problem with this algorithm is all devices are equal. It doesn't matter whether you're near, far, or behind an obstacle, you're all weighted the same. And so let's say this is you and that all the way back there is your friend that you want to send a message to unless something in between is there to relay the message, your friend is not going to receive the packet. So in Meshtastic 2.0, we've actually updated the algorithm to give more preference to devices that are on the edge of the network. So let's say this sends the message out, this device and this device, which are on the edge, will transmit it before anything else near the actual original sender. And because this will transmit it, that one back there will, will be sure to receive the packet. Okay, so it prefers devices that are further away. So if, again, if this sends it out. You'll hit this one, and then it'll go back there into your friend. And what you actually don't see here in the camera is behind the rolls of paper towels are another node. In the original routing algorithm, it's very unlikely that those nodes will receive the packet because the mesh was constrained to a random order of devices. So in the new algorithm, it is a distance first. Again, if uh, this were you, it might get to this one, you'll get to that one, and then it's possible for it to go even further out. So that'll give more preference for the mesh to grow bigger than it could have been before, giving it more range and more signal integrity. So how do routers fit into this? So let's say my beer here is a router. We'll put the router, I don't know, here. And uh, San Miguel, not a sponsor, please get a hold. I, I wouldn't mind a couple new cases. So let's say uh, this here is the uh, is still you. It sends a message out. The moment you have a router on the network, the network will always prefer hopping on a router first before it goes anywhere else. So if this sends a message, the router will always get it first and then it'll send out elsewhere. So let's say this router is back here in the corner. This sends it out, hits the router. Now the router can go behind your obstacles and your friends will get the message for sure. So with a router, you want to place your router in a physical location that has good line of sight to as many devices as you can. And you can actually have more than one router and the algorithm will continue to work where the routers will have a preference to route through them first before they go out to any device. So in summary, in the new algorithm, routers are given preference first, and then devices which are further away are then given preference next. That's it. Hope this explains things. Thank you.